Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another painting video. This week, I am going to be tackling Orc Skin. So we are going to be uh, doing this in the wake of uh, Orctober and November. So we're going to be starting off with a base coat of Wog Flesh. And this is just to create a nice, even layer that you can build upon. It's not too overpowering green like Caliban Green and not too oversaturated. Uh, it has kind of a pale green look to it, which I really dig for this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by applying a thin down coat of this over the uh, Zenithal highlight here. And uh, that's just going to allow the, the initial Zenithal highlight to sort of do a little bit of the pre-shading for us. So just make sure it goes on nice and evenly. You don't want to get too many streaks. Uh, it's okay if a little bit of the brightness shines through from the, from the initial uh, priming job here. So just make sure you get a nice even coat that uh, it's covering it up nicely. So, and this is going to provide a nice base to work with. Now, we're not going to do an over-the-top cartoony green. We're going to go for something a little bit more toned down. So, as you can see, we got the, the greens on there. It's looking good, and we're ready to proceed forward. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to use Coelia and the Green Shade. And the reason I'm using this one is because I like to have a little bit of a, a blue depth to the uh, to the orc to the green skin um, I don't want to use a straight up green I don't want to use a black because I feel that the green blends in too much the black is just a little bit too dark whereas with the blue you get sort of this really nice transition now you want to make sure that it's really thinned down because you don't want to tint the model too much you want to make sure that the blue is getting into the crevices uh, but everything else just sort of has that really light tint as you can see here and it'll be even more pronounced as it dries so the next thing we're going to do is going to take some Strachan Green, and what we're going to do is just build up the uh, the highlights on the orc's head in this case. So things like the ears, the brow, the jawline, stuff like that. So anywhere where the uh, the light would be shining a little bit brighter on it. So we're going to thin down quite a bit, and you want to use a thin brush for this. You know, either either glaze on the green or use a fine detail brush, and uh, just make sure that it flows nice and gently. Uh, as we put it on you don't want to get too many streaks and just gradually build up the highlights anywhere where the the light is naturally hitting the the orc skin in this case um, so just doing a little bit of work on the forehead and uh, don't don't worry about having to put too much on uh, simply because we're going to address that in a later step but just build it up a little bit just so it starts to look a little bit brighter so you can see along here we're going to move it along the the jawbone here and just building up that color just nice and gradually. Um, so just from a distance, it just kind of pops a bit. So once you have that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the next step. And this is sort of the, the final highlight. We're gonna take that striking green, but we're gonna mix in a little bit of flash gets yellow. In this case, about two parts striking green, one part flash gets yellow. Mix it in nice so you get sort of like a, a pale yellowish green look to it. Then we're gonna grab our dry brush and we're just going to go over all the ridges here. And you can see that uh, as we highlight the uh, the orc skin here, it's still green, but it has a little bit of a yellow tone to it. And just going to bring up that highlight really nicely. Uh, it's going to brighten it up. It's going to keep everything still looking a little bit more natural. Nothing too, uh, too cartoony or too vibrant. So the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to hit the, the one exposed tooth here with some Carrick Stone. Uh, this is just optional. I'm just doing it. It's not part of the actual uh, orc flesh here. Uh, just some watered down Carrick Stone here. Some thin down. Just get it on nice and gentle here. Make sure you don't uh, go over any of the green. Uh, and this is just to sort of complete the look of the model. So as you can see, that is the skin done. So the very last step we're going to do is we're going to use some Waywatcher Green Glaze. And the whole idea of this is that we're just going to go over all the orc flesh. We're just going to tie it together a little bit. It's going to help blend the transitions, uh, hide some of that dry brushing we did, and just tie the whole thing together nicely. So just nice and light application here. You don't have to go too thick with the glaze. So there you go. That is the uh, the quick method I used to do some orc skin here. Uh, it does have a couple more paints than normal, but it's very quick, very easy to do. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you'd like to see for future videos. And of course, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and liking. Uh, it is your support that allows me to keep doing this and keeps this channel growing. So uh, as always, be sure to hit that uh, bell for notifications. Be sure to like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, Happy Wargaming.